Folks, we're in Delta, Colorado, and we've got a Cat D4H high track that we're going to put up on auction time for you. Uh, the little man that we're selling this for, they bought it on a, a different online auction here a while back. Got it home and started using it. There were a couple things that they needed to get fixed, and so they went ahead and put it in the shop and fixed those things up so they could go ahead and use it. And, and now that they're finished up, they're going to go ahead and resell it. So... I'll try to put a list of all the things that they fixed into the listing and let you guys know. But I did want to just kind of do a quick walk around video and show you guys what the machine looks like. Sometimes I think our videos give you a little more detail than just the pictures. So I did put a tape measure on the front blade here and from the bottom corner over here to the bottom corner over there, 11 foot across. You'll see whenever I get up on the blade and we start to operate it, it is a six way blade. So you've got your angle cylinders right here on the two sides, and then you've got your rotating cylinder right there. And we started it up and moved it out here and, and all the hydraulics work well. It may be a little low on hydraulic oil when the little man that owns it gets here, I'm gonna ask him if he's maybe got a little more hydraulic oil that we can put in it because it did seem like it was a little low on hydraulic. So we'll double check that and make sure that we get those filled up so that it operates properly, so. 30 inch wide tracks on both sides. Again, high track machine. I'm gonna kind of zoom in here on the tracks and the idlers and the drive pulley and stuff, drive sprocket, so you guys can get a closer look at those and, and hopefully give you an idea of what all those look like. This little machine does have a three speed power shift forward and reverse. So it's got three forward power shifts, three reverse power shifts. And like I said, all I've done so far is I just started it up, started it up and just kind of pulled it out away. It was parked by a ditch bank over here where they had parked it when they were done using it. So that's the only driving I've got to do on this little machine so far. I've driven it all of 30 feet up to this point. You can see kind of there is where it was parked up along the ditch and I just pulled it out here where I could get around it a little bit better with my camera and give you guys a better shot and a better view of what this little guy looks like. You can see you've got some side compartment doors on it to access some of your hydraulics back in there. There's a battery disconnect on the other side and I will share with you guys that when I first went to start it, of course, it, they had the key shut off. And so it wouldn't turn over but as soon as i found that battery disconnect switch over there and turned it on this little guy fired right up and we'll show that to you in the video as well you know looking down the tops of the tracks i'm not a cat expert guys but i think those tracks are showing average wear they're not wore down by any stretch they have pretty good cleats left on them still and again i'll Pan under here and give you guys kind of a look at the sprocket, the drive sprockets. And I will get down and try to give you a shot of the undercarriage here in just a moment as well. I know a lot of that stuff you guys want to see and I don't blame you. Look at the wear points on this thing and kind of see what it looks like. So let's see if I can shoot in there on some of these idlers. And the little man that owns it, he's coming down the drive right now. I kind of got started without him here. So again, I'm gonna shoot this up underneath there. Hope, give, hopefully give you guys a little idea what the undercarriage looks like. And when he gets here, I'll have him get up on the machine. And he can run it while I take the video from the ground. Pretty clean undercarriage on this, guys. Hopefully you can see that. Hopefully I'm doing it justice here. Looks like a little bit of oil coming down inside right there. I'll ask him about that when he gets here. This other side looks pretty clean. And then I'll climb up on the operator station here and get up on top so you guys can see what the operator controls look like. 
but you can see it's got the three piece speed power shift and then these are your clutches right here and this is kind of your safety so that whenever you get off the machine you throw that down and it locks it in neutral and then your six-way blade is controlled right here on this one controller so forward and backward is up and down left and right is your angle and then you can rotate it that way and that's that's your tilt on your blade and then you've got your throttle control here you got your brake right there this is another throttle uh, pedal right here you can see they put a new hour gauge on it shows three hours I'll see if we can get figured out how many hours maybe we're on it before they did that but I think that'll do it I'm gonna go ahead and shut this video off and then we'll do another video where we show it in operation like I said the little tractor fires right up and and scoots right along so